everyone welcome back to my channel so i hope you guys are kind of enjoying this like unofficial spring series where i'm filming like if this was 2018 these would be like girl boss videos right like now i feel like they're that girl that's the new trending word but that's really what it's all about because spring we all get this like sudden motivation like think about some of our traditions that we do like spring resets and spring cleanouts and cleaning out your clothes like some of the stuff that has been like tradition that we've just been doing as a society is for a reason like a refresh and you know i got my spring dress on today spring is such a fun time for me i'm the most productive spring fall and like a little bit right before Christmas but summer I'd say more productive with like health wellness working out but I feel like we tend to just like do more activities do more things and like stuff around the house will like start to slip so that's what I really like about spring I can go back and look at older videos of mine and like look at what I was doing at you know different things different times if you saw my most recent video I did a that girl video so if you're looking for mindset tips if you're struggling with a scarcity mindset or limited beliefs you just don't feel like more is on the way more is coming it's really being the most productive you and a little bit of tough love like if you really want it bad enough you're gonna do it and you're gonna be that girl so if you want to check out that video it'll be down below people ask me literally all the time how are you a full-time youtuber this is my career it has been for the past six maybe even seven years now but at least for six years it being a business and on top of that i am a mom to a one and a half year old being a super hands-on mom and then being a working mom it's like i'm trying to find the balance in that and use my time wisely so i feel like my tips have gotten only better because I have a lot less time. Looking to be more productive, you're looking to get some tips on how you can manage your time better, then I hope you guys enjoy this video. My first tip, I guess I should just say that this might not work for everybody with everybody's career. This is honestly going to help those that have control of their schedule more than somebody that doesn't. Whether you're an entrepreneur, or you just have more control of your schedule, maybe you work from home, whatever it is, this tip is going to really help you. It helps me. And like I said, I know it might not apply to everybody, but if you can do it, it's life changing. And I was actually telling a friend about this and now she's doing it as well. And basically it's front loading your week. The things that take the most time I started doing in the beginning of the week. So if you're somebody that you have to do a lot of calls, maybe you're a realtor, you have to do a lot of calls, you have to do a lot of meetings. The day to day, I will schedule everything in the beginning of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then I like Thursday and Friday to be less hectic, le less crazy. And that's when I do a lot more with my daughter. I recently joined tennis, so I do that later in the week. I do that on Thursdays. A lot of times I'll bring my daughter to do fun things on Fridays. We'll go to the park. We'll go to just like indoor activities. She'll meet with her little friends. So I try to do that on Friday. So the beginning of the week is when I have the most motivation. I think a lot of us do too. It's embedded in us, like Monday hustle, all of that. So you have that stamina. And then towards the end of the week, you're like, I don't really feel like doing anything else. I heard it on several podcasts before and then it really started to make sense to me that like when I have control to book things, a lot of editing days, editing for example takes me forever. So I book that in the beginning of the week. I pretty much always make Monday and Tuesday editing days and then I leave the end of the week to be more creative and come up with more ideas. My second tip is I do one task at a time, which I've talked about on my channel before, but now it comes with a twist. Not only do I do one task at a time and try to do that task well but I also don't wear a million hats so a day that I'm filming like today I'm filming I won't be editing this video um, I'll be editing a different day so you could just apply this to your job your career your life like if you're in school maybe the day you go to class and take notes and do all that it's not a day that you're doing hardcore studying or something like that I was telling my husband this who's in real estate I was telling him a way that he can not wear a million hats and like go from one position to the next position because it's hard when you're working for yourself too or like I said just have more control over your schedule but he can be booking a ton of meetings and be on the road and then there's days that he has to do like administrative work and like be on the computer a lot so i said book those to be different days and i find that i'm more productive doing that because my mind is not a million different places so on a film day it's like i get to be creative i get to be dressed up i get to film and then on an editing day sweatpants or sweatpants shorts hair in a bun and i'm just like cranking it out a long time ago i used to film edit upload all on the 
same day and it's like whoa holy whoa obviously sometimes I'd get clipped from other days but for the most part it was just like a lot then you don't look forward to your job or look forward to your career or school or being a stay-at-home mom, whatever it is, when you overload yourself and you don't break up the steps. You are somebody that you do go on a lot of meetings, some days you're on meetings and then other days you're at a computer or at a desk. It's like that having that energy for meetings and really bringing it for people, being really dressed up, that should be a different day than you're just like sitting on the computer doing administrative work. So I think that not only should you focus on one task at hand, knowing that it's really hard for our brains to go from one position to the next position just like that so it'd be hard for me to go from creative to filming and all of that to then editing okay so my third tip actually takes more time in the beginning but then later in the week it like saves me so much time and you know i have like a smoother week so me and jared found that a lot of our stress would come around what we're eating for dinner what we're having for lunch what our daughter's having for breakfast lunch dinner all of that it was once our daughter started to eat like solid foods you can't just like feed them something random you know how like for dinner you're like you know what? i don't feel like cooking i'm just gonna order takeout so now with her eating and with our fitness goals that we'll have from time to time it's like so much easier to plan out your meals because then your week goes smoothly so it's it always is those days that you're like rushing maybe you had to stay at work later you had to hand in something later and then you come home and it's like 4 30 or 5 and you're like it's too late to go drive to the grocery store it's like it's gonna be so much traffic at that time too late to do an instacart it's not gonna come fast enough and that's when i'll always realize like ugh, like it would just have been so much easier if i planned out all my meals i'm making sure that we're all eating a healthy meal and that there's just like less stress when you get home because when i am done with work even though i work from home it's like i like to come downstairs and it's totally different it's different from youtube life and all of that it's just like cooking and therapeutic for me and fun for me and my daughter stands on her tower and she tries to like help a little and so my tip here is to just take the time on saturday or sunday do it on a weekend and plan out what you're having all week even get down to the nitty-gritty of like what are you having for breakfast and for me i've been keeping it super simple and just doing a shake so i was into my blueberry smoothies then i was into that like air one dupe smoothie and now i'm into like a raspberry smoothie okay so here's my current favorite smoothie it's chocolate raspberry so you want to start with frozen or fresh raspberries I just find it's a little more refreshing with frozen and then I use almond milk I'm using the brand malk it's a really clean brand minimal ingredients and then I go in with the star of the show my Saqqara protein and greens powder what I love about this powder is it saves you time this video is all about time management because you don't have to add in your greens it already contains it then for the chocolatey taste I'm adding cacao powder you can add whatever you have and this is optional I do a touch of honey just to give it a little sweetness I love the color for spring and I love that I'm getting my fruit I'm getting fiber but I'm also getting greens from the Saqqara protein powder like chlorella spirulina and those are things I used to actually go in and add and then I add chocolate granola on top I have been loving that Saqqara protein powder, especially because, like I said, it's a protein and greens powder. So if you don't have a handful of greens to add in your smoothie, you don't have to. I also love that Saqqara as a whole, as a brand, is a clean brand. I love that they're so picky about ingredients and a lot of protein powders just don't work for me. They make me bloated, they make me uncomfortable, and a lot of them don't even keep me full where, you know when people are like, oh, it's a meal replacement. It's like, it never really is for me because I get hungry immediately after. What I really with that is if you feel like that happens to you too dairy protein powders make me hungry faster I think they just like go through me I don't know what it is but I'm much better with plant-based protein powders and that's exactly what Saqqara is and I also love that this one doesn't have like a strong flavor it's, they say that it's just a hint of sweetness but it's not like vanilla or chocolate so it's not going to take away from your shake so if you like to make like a peanut butter chocolate situation or you like to make a raspberry chocolate like I did today the protein powder isn't going to add that weird fakeness where you get like so sick of it I've spent so much money on protein powder guys where I get sick of the taste and I love that a shake is just so quick I don't have to think about it. it's like all week that's what I'm having for breakfast so if you guys want to check out Saqqara's protein powder use my code Sam Oz Corral 20 for 20% 20 off and I will have a link down below my fourth tip is the one minute rule so basically tasks that take one minute or less do right away don't put them off 
I had to book two appointments the other day. I had to book a checkup appointment for my daughter. I had to book a teeth cleaning for me and my husband. And those kinds of things, guys, because they're such like quick things, I'll put them off and then I won't do them. And I learned my lesson because then when I went to book a teeth cleaning, they were like, oh, you'll have to wait a month because we're booked now. And I was like, Ugh. if you see tasks that take a minute or less, just get them done. So what I did was I like to get my steps in. Walking 10,000 steps has helped me with my mental health, with clarity, with getting outside with nature. Once you connect with nature, you reduce anxiety. Really great for me is to get my walks in. So what I'll do is I'll put my AirPods in and that's when I'll do all my calls. So I'll book my dentist, I'll book my daughter's checkup. We actually had to get our sink fix, fixed recently. So I called the guy to coordinate with that. I'm not a huge fan of multitasking because I think then you never do one task well. But in this case, when you're just like walking or maybe you're on the treadmill or something, get your one minute or less task done. And I honestly like to Get them done in the beginning of the day first thing in the morning because it's almost like it, it's like that like satisfaction reward that it's like done 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 like if you have like five one minute tasks and you get them all done you cross them off your list you just feel so good and my last tip is the social media trap so especially things like Instagram and TikTok especially I feel like YouTube isn't really like that because YouTube it takes time to like find a video and then after you're done watching a video, I feel like I'll watch a video or two and then I go on with my day. Whereas TikTok or Instagram, it is literally built to make you want to keep scrolling, especially TikTok. I was watching this video of like the negative side effects of TikTok for our brain is that it's just, you know, so immediate. It's like that immediate, immediate satisfaction and it's addicting and it's meant to be addicting. It's meant to give you that social media trap where now you're trapped watching TikTok and you watch for hours and hours and hours. And so I was recently getting my nails done and I was telling the girl doing my nails about this, about my Trader Joe's, you know, quick dinner idea and that I found it on TikTok. And you know what she said? She was like, I know what you're talking about, but I actually had to delete the app because I was getting an unhealthy relationship with it and that I was always on there. Like before bed, I was on there. She said she used to always go to bed early and then ever since she got like addicted to scrolling and like that whole like movement of like new video, new video, new video. And the fact that they're like quick, so you just think that you've been on there for like a couple minutes, but really it's been like two hours. And she said that she would watch in bed and realize like, each night she was going to bed like an hour or two later just from watching TikTok. I have to put social media boundaries or else the same thing happens to me with scrolling and even like checking DMs and connecting and all of this. So, so recently I set a social media boundary for myself and I'm just going to go on two hours or less. It's really hard for me because of my career and that I like to go on there and connect and DMs and um, comments and all of that and if somebody needs a link to something or ask me a question about something and some one of my subscribers recently was like actually in the area and was like quick where should I go to dinner with that being said I also have to keep my mental health in check and I also have to keep my bedtime in check and waking up early in check now don't get me wrong I love TikTok because I can quickly go like restaurants in South Florida that I should try and then it gives me a list like I love how like quick easy convenient or like you're going to Trader Joe's quick Trader Joe's haul I think there's so much that can be so innocent about it I'm just saying that when you get to the point where you're staying up too late or when you wake up in the morning that's the first thing you check I've actually been good with that I don't check my phone first thing in the morning but what I'm saying is don't listen don't especially my younger viewers let this take away from what you're working on now because you never get that time back. So if at night you're really excited after dinner, you're gonna meal prep a little for the next day, but then you get stuck and you're standing at the kitchen counter, you don't wanna go to the next thing. And this is like that easy, like, you know what? I'm just gonna like look at my phone really quick before I do some chores. And then you don't end up doing the chores because you're too tired because you're looking at your phone for too long. So that's the social media trap that I just want you guys to be aware of. And once you're aware of it, then, that's when you stop yourself. I'll watch a quick Trader Joe's haul and then I'll, or Whole Foods, and then I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna go um, clean up, you know, clean up the kitchen after dinner. Because you're just aware of it and you're aware that like, especially if you guys are busy moms like I am, you don't have time to sit on TikTok. What's more important? The immediate satisfaction of looking at a video and getting excited about that or putting in the work 
to make your goals a reality, to make your life, the dream life that you think about from time to time, you can actually make that a reality by maximizing the time in your day. And you don't even have to wake up early and you don't even have to go to bed early. Those are the things that are gonna be helpful. Just start maximizing the hours you do have by being realistic. Are you talking to a friend on the phone for too long? Are you spending too much time on TikTok or Instagram? And if you are, you don't have to give them up completely. Like I said, just set a realistic time frame for yourself. And for me, it's been two hours for the whole day. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found anything helpful. Comment down below, like usual, what was your favorite tip? And if you have any tips to piggyback on this video that you wanna add, I'm sure we would all I'll love to read through the comments. Don't forget to check out Sakara. I will leave my code, everything you need to know in my description box. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.